Yo, what's up? It's your boy Steve. With this uh, new Rust update that came out today or last night, depending on where you're at, uh, it added a bunch of new shit, but I don't really care about that. The only thing I care about is the electricity. But they did add the ability to use electricity to power these uh, auto targets, these reactive targets. And that adds a lot of fucking potential for automatic ranges and stuff for whatever purpose you want to use them for. You can make a circuit that will reset once you knock all the targets down. So you shoot all of them and then they'll reset. Or you can make them reset when you shoot down a row. Or uh, just have them auto reset uh, anytime you shoot them. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. It's just going to auto reset any target that you shoot after a certain time that you can set on a timer. So if you want them to be on one second, so you have constant shooting, it's up to you. You can set it yourself. The only thing you're going to need for this, you're going to need some power source. I think about like 14, 15 power, so not that much. Uh, I'm only going to be doing the first row. But uh, you could just link all of the, the XOR switches together to add more rows. So I'm just going to show you one row. So all you're going to need is a blocker, a timer, three splitters, two OR gates, and an electrical branch, and some sort of power here. So I'm just going to be using a test jenny. So, and I'll have the build linked in Rustition if you wanted to save it, so you can look at it later. So, from the power, let's grab our, our splitter here, sorry, our electrical branch. And I'm just going to branch off the power real quick to that and we're going to be branching off 13 power so just do that by itself I'm going to pop this guy up here alright so from here we're going to just branch out to this one first because this is just going right to our targets here this is going to be our target power so then just connect these to your power inputs on the, wherever this thing is, power in of your targets, uh, power in, I don't really care about making it look nice, oh shit. Our turrets have power. Sorry, our targets have power, not our turrets. I'm used to turret videos. So then, this uh, this output here, we're gonna branch out to another splitter. So I'll put the splitter up here. The power out of the splitter is gonna go. Sorry, power out of this branch is going to the splitter. And from here, we'll grab our other components. So first off, I'm gonna place this blocker right here. And I'm going to power out to the input of the blocker. So our blocker has a little bit of power now. And then the other output that we're using from here is going to go to a timer. So I'm going to pop this here. Drop down. Boom. Now our timer's got a little bit of power. And our output of the timer is going to the block pass through of our blocker. And while we're here, might as well place another splitter. We're going to power this splitter with the output from the blocker. And we'll get to this timer again in a second. And then these power outs are going back to our targets, and they're going to be the uh, reset target. Uh, reset. Reset. Sweet. Now, the moment of truth, the juice. Oh, really? 
Okay. I guess I'll place these over here. I need these ore gates. So, just we might as well hook this one up now. Output of one of the ore gates goes to the input of the next ore gate. We'll just do that real quick. So then the remaining slots here, so input A, input B, input B, or whatever you have, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna hook all of these up to the power out of the, the turrets, the targets, sorry. So wherever power out is, power out, power out. set this timer to I don't know we'll do let's do three seconds for now and then we're just gonna pop this output from the last or gate into the the timer a timer toggle uh, let me just grab a weapon here all right so you can see here the turrets the targets are staying up This thing doesn't really have enough power to knock them all down, but you see, we'll shoot one, after three seconds it'll reset. Sweet. So then you can just copy this, you can add more ore gates right here, for these guys here. So add more ore gates, link them all together and put it into this timer. Then you need an extra, you need extra power for these and then extra reset. So. It wouldn't be too hard to make once you uh, figure out how this works. But this is pretty cool. I think having uh, different ranges would be great to uh, shoot. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for further circuits or an, a, a cool addition to this circuit, post it in the comments and I'll see if I can make it for you. Alright, thanks.